College football today from Memorial Stadium in Lincoln, Nebraska. It's the number six ranked Nebraska Cornhuskers and the number 18 rated Nittany Lions of Penn State. That's Kevin Seibel set to kick off for Nebraska. So here we go in Lincoln on a gorgeous day. Penn State in Nebraska for the first time since 1958. At the one yard line, it's Warner, the freshman to the 10, eludes a tackle there and then is dumped at the 16 yard line. Penn State coming up with split backs. Off times they work out of the eye, but not this time. And right to the air goes Tate out to the 20-yard line for a pickup of three. And here's the offensive line for the Lions. LaPointe is the tight end. Kugler is the left tackle. Remember, this is a rebuilt unit. Sean Farrell, the left guard. The center is a good one. Robert Jaggers. They have Mike Munchak on the right side at guard. And Irv Pankey, who was a tight end last year, is now the right tackle, number 70. Second down and six from the 20-yard line. Draw, and this is Booker Moore for a gain of three. Dale Tate hurt the last two years, the quarterback. There's a good one. Matt Suey, fifth leading ground gainer in Penn State history. Booker Moore gets the start at tailback. Though as Aaron explained, we'll see a lot of Warner. Mike Gooman, who can also play running back, is the flanker. Their best receiver is Tom Donovan. The clock's in the end zone. They get the playoff. It's Booker Moore. Finds no room over the left side. And Nebraska has held on the first series. There, the defensive line with Cole Horn, Winemaster in the middle who made the tackle. Barnett and Nelson able to stop Penn State on the Lions' first possession. So Jack Amaro, freshman punter, gets it away and a fair catch is called for and made at the 47-yard line. As we look at Nebraska, offensively, the tight end, Junior Miller, Mark Goodspeed, his first year as a starter, number 72, the left tackle. Havacost is the left guard, number 69. There's a man who could be all big eight this year. Kelly Saulfeld. Randy Schleusner is the right guard. Dan Steiner at right tackle as Nebraska takes over at its own 47-yard line. And up the middle on the first play goes Andre Franklin, number 39. There's Tim Hager getting the start at quarterback. Andre Franklin, that's the way he pronounces it, Andre. I am hip, Isaiah Moses, the starting eye back. We'll see a lot of red wine, too. And Kenny Brown is a very fine wing back, but has not caught a pass in the first couple of games this year. Tim Smith, the split end, 84. Second down, nine. Hip's first carry of the day. That's nothing. He and Matt Millen, that great tackle tandem. They're up there with Kubin. They have Greg Jones in the middle. Gene Gladys, number 79, outside. And the linebackers and defensive backs. You'll hear a lot about Lance Mel today. Number 56 leads the team in tackles. Third down. They swing it out to Hip, and Isaiah was falling down as he made the catch, and down he goes. Do the punting number 84. Suey and Gooman are back deep in the direction of Suey. Matt from the 15-yard line. Drop at the 18. Now he's at the helm as Penn State has it first down and 10 from the 18-yard line. Warner, his first carry of the day, cuts inside off a nice block and goes to the 27-yard line. They lined up in the I formation on first down. Now with split backs on second down and two. Tate rolling right, has a little bit of room and gets out near the 29-yard line. Should have the first down. Straight drop, Tate out of the pocket. And out to the 35-yard line. The running backs, Warner and Suey. A roll by Tate. He finds Suey, and he's bumped out of bounds at the 39-yard line. That's own territory. First and 10 from the 39. Tate, everybody covered, and so is he now at the 40-yard line. Drive started at the 18. It is second down, nine. gets blindsided and it's incomplete and we've got a roughing the passer penalty they were trying a screen that time donovan split left boom into the right oh he's Over got him the he's gonna be wide open at the 40 yard line and down to the 19 yard line brad scoville number 80 great down the middle first down at the 19 yard line on the option take keeps no the eye back is Warner, the fullback is Suey. 
The fake to Warner. They go to the air again. He comes back the other way for Scoville. He juggled the ball. Did he stay in? Yes, touchdown. Well, if there's any question in your mind whether or not Tate can throw the football, that drive will erase any question. And he lays that ball in there perfectly. The defender was in front, but the ball was laid in there just right. And watch his feet just inside. His left foot is inside the corner. It Herb Manhart off the soccer team. Now the Penn State place kicker picks it through. 8.23 to go in the first quarter. The Lions have driven 82 yards to lead Nebraska 7 to nothing. The Nittany Lions, two big passes to Scoville, including one for the touchdown, leading 7 to nothing. Brown has to back up and down it. The quarterback, Hager. He was a walk-on, local boy from Lincoln. I am hip. We've got a penalty marker at the line of scrimmage as hip gets it out to the 23-yard line. Last two years. Procedure penalty against Nebraska. First and 15 after the penalty. The ball at the 15-yard line. In the pocket and nearly intercepted and then completed down to the 29-yard line. Lance Mel nearly picked it off. Brown. Second down and one and... I am hip has the first down. Jarvis Redwine has come into the game at tailback to replace I am hip with a ball at the 33 first down. Our first look at Redwine to the 36 yard line. Second and seven. Hager to the 46 yard line for a first down. Tim Smith. Smith this time is wide left. Brown is sent wide to the right. And they give it to Franklin, the fullback. Bottled up, has made his first catch of the season today. Second down. Hager, incomplete. Pass a little bit high, intended for Scott Woodard. Remember, in the last two weeks, he'd thrown only one pass and completed it last week against Iowa. Third down and eight. The pitch back for Redwine. Tackled at the 44-yard line, shy of the first down to nope. boot it. Tom Wise dropping back, oh. single safety too far. That one well into the end zone. And Penn State will bring it out to the 20-yard line. First down from the 20. This is Shuey. Out to the 24-yard line is the fifth leading all-time ground gainer in Penn State history. Second down and six. Incomplete intended for Warner. Third and six from the 24. Oh. Suey pushed back. High kick. Boy, Good a one. Kick. Brown has to Woo. back up. Kenny takes it at the 22. Oh. Gets a nice block. But can't capitalize on it. At Memorial Stadium, Lincoln, Nebraska, 7 to nothing, Penn State. Nebraska from its own 22-yard line. Nothing doing through the middle. It's going to be tough to run inside on Penn State. Second down and eight. 53-49. Hip. Out to the 26 goes IM. Third down and six at the 26-yard line. Hager. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Intercepted at the 25-yard line, and Penn State's going to lead it 13 to nothing. Tom Wise. <laughs> of all things, Joe Paterno was more worried about his secondary than any other facet of his defense. And he turns, and the appears that his receiver is open. He throws right here, and the ball, as you see, is great play there by Wise. He stepped in there. He was kind of camouflaged by the other receiver. Terrific defensive play. Point. He is 8 for 8 thus far this season. And he's now 9 for 9. So the 30-yard run back by Wise. Menhart converting. Three minutes remaining in the first quarter before a stunned crowd. And back deep, Kenny Brown, number 22. Along with Anthony Steeles, 33, in the direction of Brown goes Franco's kick, takes it to the two, out to the 10, and throws it back to Steeles at the nine. And he stumped at the 15-yard line. Dan Rocco, the man who made the tackle. So Nebraska from the 15-yard line. Jarvis Redwine to the outside. Has his jersey ripped off as he gets out to the 21-yard line. 
Second down, three. Franklin, he stays on the ground to pick up the first down. Now he has first and 10. Does Hager at the 26-yard line. They send Brown in motion, pitch it back to I.M. Hip. Skitters out to the 27-yard line. It is second and eight at the 28. Hager on a keeper. Nebraska at the Cornhusker 31. Hager. Complete out to the 38 of first down to Smith. To the air again. Good protection. Going long. Looking for Smith. He's got a step, but he can't make the catch. Smith got out in front. But Second down and 10 at the 38-yard line. 14-0 Penn State late first quarter. Hager again. Complete out to the 47-yard line to Scott Woodard. It's now third and one from the 47-yard line. And they pitch it to Redwine. Turns the corner and gets the first down. This could be the final play of the first quarter. 15 seconds to go at the 49 of Penn State. They give it to Jarvis Redwine. He bounces off one man, but not another, and he is stopped. So at the end of one period of play at Memorial Stadium, it is Penn State leading Nebraska 14 to nothing. Here it's 14-0 Penn State at the 49-yard line. It is second and 10, Nebraska, as we start the second quarter. Hager to Smith, and he's out of bounds at the 39-yard line. Red one, first down and a lot more to the 20. First down, that's Miller setting up tight on the left side. Red wine again, and look at Clark, 54. Watch Clark, 54 face mask, though. So first down, just outside the 10. Hager's going to put it up, throws to Miller, touchdown. Junior Miller, the tight end. Makes his sixth reception of the season. He didn't have to waste any time with that one, boy. That was a, they took advantage of it. It was a goal line design pass play, and it was perfectly executed. Of Hager's hole for the point after. Good. Once again from the end zone now, the touchdown pass from Hager to Junior Miller. Again, all the college teams are using crossing ends. They fake to the right, they fake to the eye back, and again, Junior Miller crossing from right to left is open, and you've got a touchdown for Nebraska. Opening minute of the second period, Penn State leading by seven. She's back deep, along with Mike Gulman. Kevin Seibel kicking off. From the two, it's Warner to the 10. To the oh, 20, almost broke it. Got out to the 27-yard line on the kickoff. Offside was the call against... Nebraska, when he said, all right, this kid can play. He's an athlete. <laughs> He's going to get it again. From the five this time. To the 20, 25, and out to the 28-yard line. I've been passing more out of this uh, I formation, taking the tailback off, taxi, uh, off tackle. Here it is again with two lead backs. He's outside the contain with a wide open hook man. Tom Donovan at the 40, gets out to the 44-yard line. First down at the 43-yard line. Tate gives it to Moore. Tate through the air today. Five out of seven for 84 yards. Second down, 10. Low pass and incomplete. Intended for Suey. The corner is the tailback. They have Gooman wide right. Donovan wide to the left. It's like an automatic. Tate. Almost intercepted. Oh. He picked it off as Giacomaro, the freshman punter, to kick it away. Good kick. Brown backs up oh. from the 10. Blocking doesn't form. Four-yard run back at their own 15-yard line. I am hip as the eye back on first down. Tim Hager, the quarterback, pitching to I am. Coming to the short side of the field and out to the 21-yard line. Second down and four. Hip again. 
slithering to the outside and finding an opening to get the first down. First down at the 26-yard line. Looking for Brown. Oh, what a move by Kenny to the 32. And then Donaldson makes the tackle. To the 35-yard line. Worth again. 45 after the 48-yard line. First down at the 48-yard line. This drive starting at the Nebraska 15. Hager after the play fake. Has time. Throws incomplete at the 37-yard line. Second down, 10 at the 48. 44, 41. Red wire. To the 44 of Penn State. Penn State leading 14-7. Hager let his man look for worth. We are deep for Penn State. Wow. He boomed it again. And that one goes into the end zone. Dale Tate, the quarterback. The tailback on first down is Warner, the freshman. And he's the ball carrier. For two to the 22. He wants to move that ball out of this field uh, territory if he can. Oh, and oh, oh. split backs at Suey. That doesn't work. Third down and seven at the 23. Tate throwing it up for Donovan. Incomplete. Jack Amaro to kick. Ooh, look at this guy. Put it up. Very high kick. Brown the fair catch. Oh, from the 28, first and 10. Oh. Inside give for the wing back Brown to the 30. Second and eight. Oh, look at here. Good fake. Miller wide open again. The 30, the 20. He's in again for a touchdown. 14-13. Now Suka, the extra point attempt is good. And just like that, thanks to Junior Miller and Tim Hager, the Cornhuskers have come back to tie it. It's 14-14. Hold for touchdowns. It's 14-14 with seven minutes to go in the half. Seibel kicking off for Nebraska. Booms it. Out of the end zone. At the 20-yard line, the Nittany Lions on first and ten. Tate, the pitch, oh. he loses the ball, it's picked up at the 14-yard line, Nebraska has it. Knocking on the door again. The pitch to Brown, who came around from the wing back slot. Second and 11 from the 16-yard line. The play fake again, Hager has it knocked down by Clark. Reverse. Brown again on the wing back. Reverse. Inside the 10. There goes Kenny at the 6. <laughs> Kenny Brown is a man who did not catch a pass and did not carry the ball once in the first two games. Sukup's kick is good. So Penn State has watched the 14 nothing lead evaporate in a big hurry. Six minutes and two seconds for a to Seibel. Ready to kick off for the Cornhuskers. He's been booting them long so far today. Gets this one down to the four-yard line. Booming. No help. And dropped at the 13. First down. Penn State from the 13. Tate not afraid to put it up. Well over Donovan's head. A second and ten, Penn State at their own 13-yard line. 5.52 till halftime. Warner. Ball carried by Warner. He needs one. Third down and four from the 18. Gonna put it up. 
Tate in trouble, and Nebraska has stopped them again. Another dandy. A beauty. Fair catch. Brown juggles and then holds on. At the 42. It's next at 4 Eastern time on ABC. Oh. I am hip. First down to the Penn State 45. First down at the 45-yard line. Miller sets up on the right side. Tight. Franklin through the middle. The 25. The 20. Down to the 11-yard line. Andre Franklin, the fullback. That's first and 10. Franklin stays in at fullback. The tailback is Jarvis Redwine. First down from the 11. The pitch back to Redwine. Gets a block from Franklin. And works his way to the 5-yard line. In some kind of quarter for Nebraska. Franklin. Touchdown, Nebraska. Kelly Saulfeld, the center, moving aside to open the hole. Suka, he's four for four today. And he's 12 for 12 for the season. 3.24 remaining in the second quarter. With Seibel to kick off. Penn State wants to get it to Warner. They do, and he'll come out from three yards deep. He hesitated. Now he's to the 15. Now he's down the sideline to the 40 to the 42-yard line. He takes it out to the 42. Okay, tight end open here. He goes to Warner, and he's buried at the 46-yard line. Second down five from the 47. Tate on a roll. He'll keep. In the Nebraska territory. Third in the yard. Sully to the 45. Now second down and seven at the 45 yard line. Tate under pressure. Going back to Warner. That didn't set up well. No, they were waiting for it. Third and seven. Tate. Down he goes at midfield. Jack Amaro to kick. Angles it. Brown calls for a fair catch and makes it at the 13-yard line. We've got a good quarter here. They don't want to turn that ball open over down deep in their own territory. They slot red wine this time. And give it to the remaining back at halftime. And an interesting fireman's fun flashback. Coming up, so stay with us as Redwine goes to the outside. And Redwine is the Cornhuskers start to leave the field at halftime. Nebraska overcoming a two-touchdown deficit, leading Penn State at the half, 28-14. The second half is underway with the Cornhuskers receiving. And coming out of the end zone is Brown. 15, the 20 to the outside, and bumped out at the 32-yard line. Hager has gone all the way at quarterback. Out to the 37. Second down, five. Hager losing the ball. Hip has to scramble to find it along with Hager back at the 25, and who's got it? Penn State. You know who caused it, I'll tell you that. Matt Millen caused the fumble. And now coughing it up here early in the third quarter. So the Nittany Lions try to cash in from the 25-yard line on first down. Tate gives it to Warner, and he gets belted immediately at the 27. Tate, down he goes at the 33-yard line. Third down, 18. From the 33. Tate, a lot of time to set up, finds Donovan at the 18-yard line, but it's not a first down. We'll set it up at the 25-yard line, so a 35-yard kick. It's 
just long enough and good. So Menhart boots it through with 12 pin to go in the third quarter. It's now Nebraska 28 and Penn State 17. After the field goal by Menhart, Franco kicking off. It's 28 to 17. Huskers, it's steals from the end zone, belted down at the 11 yard line. Now they got them backed up deep in their own territory. From the 12 on first down. Second down and four. Ooh, hip. It's Rip. Rick Donaldson. And the Mountaineers lead Richmond by 11. Third down and four. Deep drop. Hager tries to set up the screen, and Redwine makes the catch and is buried immediately. Away. Gooman and Suey back deep. Fair catch called for by Gooman in Nebraska territory. First down, Penn State at the Nebraska 47. Warner, the freshman, to the 46-yard line. Gooman and Donovan, the flankers, they're both to the right this time. Second and eight. Tate going over the middle, overshoots Gooman. Incomplete. He was well covered. On third down and eight. To illustrate Penn State's problems on the ground, they've rushed 21 times for 22 yards. Tate has to scramble. He's got some room. And wrestles back at the 31-yard line. I'm sure we'll try to angle it from midfield. The rush is on. They nearly blocked it. High kick. They're going to let it bounce, and Penn State will swarm around it and down it at the four. Huskers will operate now from the three. Jarvis Redwine is the eye back. Hager giving the Redwine through the middle to try to give him some breathing room. He gets to the seven. Redwine the eye back. Second down and six. Franklin goes through the same spot. Third and four. Get down here. Hager faking. Throwing long for Smith. He's got it. the 44 of Penn State. First down from the 44. Red one to the 23. So Nebraska has come out of the hole. What a pair of eye backs. First down at the 23. It's Hip's turn. Nothing doing though. Second and nine. Red wine. He likes that left side. To the 14. Good ball handling. Third down and two. And they get the first. Going through the middle. First and ten at the 11-yard line. Red wine. Gets to the 10. Look at this, the dominance of the rushing statistics. Woo. Second down and nine. Hager has it knocked away, and it's caught back at the 12-yard line and taken to the 10. Third down and nine, and it's worth with Sukup to kick from the 16-yard line, a 26-yard attempt. Hager holding. Kick is no good. Wow. A new quarterback for Penn State as they go with Rakowski now from the 20 yard line on first down. He throws to Suey complete, and Suey takes it out to the 37. Gain of 17. First and 10 at the 37 yard line. Terry Rakowski, his first action of the day. Joe Paterno changing quarterbacks. Ball carried by Suey. And only run it once. Second and six. Oh, oh the Warner should have had it. Yeah. So Terry Rakowski, the sophomore quarterback. On third down and six. Warner, we've got a flag down. Nebraska may have been offside. It may be academic, though. Time clock's counting down in the end zones. First down from the 
49 yard line. Suey. Ball carried by Suey. To the 47 yard line. Second down and five. Rakowski. Got a yard. Third down, three. A lot of movement and flags all over the joint. And Rakowski scrambling and gets to the 36 yard line. And there go more flags. The six new rules in the last two years. <laughs> But they are all made in the interest of safety. All right, most 28-17, Nebraska. Rakowski on his first drive of the day, taking over for Tate. Rakowski keeping, getting about four to the 31-yard line. Tom Baring makes the tackle, and time has run out in the third quarter. So we move on to the fourth period before a full house in Lincoln. It's Nebraska, 28, Penn State, 17. Penn State second down and six at the Nebraska 31-yard line as we begin the fourth quarter. Warner has it. Never really got his footing. It's third and five. Now they're blitzing him, coming after him. Rakowski, no, get two. It'll be fourth down. They probably want a spin out pass here. Let's take a look. Fourth and three. Whoa! Bad time for that to happen. Cadence and signals. Quarterback wanted to run away. Fourth down and eight from the 33-yard line. A drive that started at the Penn State 20. Rokowski. Screen. Little screen out to Warner. He's going to have to do it himself and can't. No blocking set up. First down, Nebraska, from the 31. Jarvis Redwine. Spun down back of the 29-yard line. Second down, 12, from the 29-yard line. Hager going deep, looking for Smith. Incomplete. On third and 12. Complete out to the 45-yard line for a first down. Hager is now 13 of 20. He's passed for 199 yards from the 46-yard line. I am hip into Penn State territory to the 47-yard line. Second and three. Franklin, the pull to the 38-yard line. This time it's red wine. Out of bounds at the 32. Second down and four at the 32 yard line. Hager off the fake again. Looking for Junior Miller. Incomplete. Third down and four from the 32. This is where Nebraska's been excelling on third down plays. It's Franklin this time, and he is shy, I think, of Red Wine, the eye back. Franklin, the full back, as Miller sets up tight right. On fourth down, Jarvis Red Wine going to the outside. He's got it. First down at the Lion 27. Second down and six. To the 14. First down at the 14. Inside give on the wing back reverse. It's Kenny Brown. Down to the seven. Uh-oh. Worth. Touchdown, Huskers. It's a little bit of glory on a day that's belonged to Hip and Red Wine and Franklin. It's Worth who goes over. Sukup's point after. Good. 8.31 to go in Lincoln. Nebraska 35 and Penn State 17. Sabo kicking off. 
Warner waiting from the goal line. Comes Kurt to the 10. We got a seam here. Look. Closes in a hurry. Out to the 21 yard line. Rakowski, the sophomore quarterback. Paid the price for picking up five. The offensive line has not been able to block, and that's been their biggest problem this afternoon. There's another example. There it is again, sure. Matt Suey at the 28 yard line. Clock running, 7 10 to play. Warner, and it's all he can do to keep possession. There's one guy that can really boot it. He's having a nice day. Fair catch. Brown at the 43 yard line. Cornhuskers at their own 44 yard line. Hager has gone all the way to his Jarvis Redwine. He was going to, he's going to run out of gas. Now's about the right time with him. Second and 11. Steers is in motion. And Redwine gives it back to Hager. Over the middle he goes to Smith to the 42. Deficit there for a while. Redwine. Giuseppe Harris came up to make the tackle. Second down, seven. Red wine. 38 yard line. Gonna lose for the second time in a row for the first time in three years. Third and six. Red wine, he's got a lot of room. To the 24 yard line. I am hip. Yeah, okay. <laughs> First down from the 24. <laughs> Jarvis, we'll just call him Jarvis. He takes it to the 21. Has had a big day today. The red wine has been the big man out of the backfield. Quinn. Third and nine. Comes back the other way to Smith. To the seven-yard line. First and goal. Craig Johnson. Quinn spelling Hager now as he tries to move them in. And through the middle, touchdown. Jim Kutera, number 44, on his first carry of the day. The 13th fullback. Is that yes it is? He scores. Jacob's kick is good. He is six for six on points after a minute 55 to play. Nebraska leading by 25. A minute 55 to go. Kevin Seibel kicking off. And Kurt Warner can't handle it. At the 20 yard line, Rakowski. Incomplete. And they will be at least that high next week. They had to scramble and scratch to take care of Iowa, but they have dominated today. Rakowski will have to keep it. Moves to the outside. It's a nice block from Moore, and then there's one out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Penn State, fourth down and one from their own 29-yard line. So obviously, in this situation, nothing to lose. They're going for it. And it looked like Nebraska jumped off. They get the first down anyway, if indeed it was Nebraska. With David Clark. A lot of people thought Joe was crying wolf, but maybe not. Rakowski pitches back to Booker Moore, and he's run out of bounds at the 36 by Sammy Sims. And a 69-yarder, a 21-yarder, 11-yarder, and as I said at the top of the show, that the key to this was going to be, oh, well, there's an interception there. The key would be the performance. And Lindstrom with the interception as Nebraska takes over at the 49-yard line. As they get the subs in, Randy Landwerp takes it to the 42-yard line. Nebraska victory. And down to the 41, Dennis Rogan, the fourth team I back. That'll do it. Crowd counts it down. It's all over in Lincoln. With the Nebraska Cornhuskers have defeated Penn State very convincingly. Final score, 42-17. to 17.